Who's ready? Mike, the offense wasn't moving particularly fast on that last possession. What was the thinking in terms of the pacing there? Well, we, we wanted to get into a right, you know, I don't think the pace had anything to do with it. I think it was the execution and, and being able to execute. You know, we had two timeouts. The thought process was, you know, get a first down and, uh, you know, get to the 35-yard line where we needed to be to make a kick. And, you know, we wish, wished we would have been able to convert to third down and call a timeout. Thanks so much After the regular season you had, how tough is it in like this? I mean, it's the same thing you always say. Some 31 teams are going to be pissed off. You know, you don't show up to the stadium planning – um, post-game conversations with your team uh, about losing and about having the finality of the season and about when you're going to meet and, and all those things. So, you know, it's disappointing because I know that they fight and they compete. And, uh, and I know that whoever, whoever does that again next year for us will do the same thing. Two years in a row, home game in the playoffs good setting and you don't get quarterback play that, that's required to win a game. What did you think of what Ryan did? Well, I don't think Ryan or myself or anybody did enough to win the game. That's how it goes, Paul. Um, it's never going to be about one person, not as long as I'm the head coach, um, which will be a while. Um, so it'll never be about one person. We have to play better, we have to get open, we have to not fall down. Defense got to get some turnovers, but we can't turn the ball over. We know that. We can't get stopped on down. So those are all the things that we, we talk about and reasons why you lose. On you know, Our third down conversion wasn't good enough. Uh, our ability to score touchdowns in the red zone. But we all have to play better. We have to coach better. Mike, when you guys were driving earlier in the fourth, you had a third and one. Is that a, is that a read option play that Ryan has a choice? Of it was a third and one good? play that uh, Ryan has a choice, and we've run a lot of those successfully. That you're not, you didn't have a plan of what you're going to say to your team, thinking that this season was going to be over. But you've always said how proud you are of how mm -hmm. you guys have played. But for you, as the head coach of this team, what are you feeling right now? I'm disappointed for them, um, you know, because I think that they all believed, obviously, that we would win the game, um, that we were just getting started, that this was a was was a second season. And uh, that the preparation and everything that we put into it uh, was there. Uh, the execution, you know, wasn't. And it's disappointing, but I'll always hurt a lot more for them than I will myself. And it's just how I've chosen to do this thing. When the preparation is there and the execution is not, where do you, when you start to look at it, where do you, where do you start? Not five minutes after the game. Mike, the third, the, the last pick, was that too risky of a throw by Ryan? Did you have not thrown into that space? Uh, we just didn't make the play. How surprising you get nine sacks and that not be good enough to win a game? Because you guys, last year you talked about all the sacks we didn't have, and you guys somehow think that sacks lead to victories. They're great. We'll talk about how many we had this year, but I like turnovers and interceptions and cause fumbles, so... Maybe we'll talk. Maybe we had too many sacks this year. With the turnovers, myriad of problems. Was it all Tannehill? No, it's never all. You know, I mean, obviously the, the guy pulling the trigger, you know, is going to get blamed. You know, I mean, that's just what happens. But you know, we we all have to do a better job of taking care of the football. You know, and, you know, Ryan. Nobody feels worse than than Ryan does. And you know, there was some contact, and we, you know, I mean, on the last one, it's like. Where would you want him to put the ball any any differently in a better spot? So um, you know, they let him play, and that's how it goes. As far as the slow start on offense to start the game, what went wrong? Obviously, the, the first play, the interception, but what after went that? Wrong? Yeah. I, I mean, I thought we had some good plays. We got in some drives and just didn't finish, and then um, you know, went on the ball, and I felt like that helped. Had too many third and longs, probably. What was your thinking on the two point conversion? Try to score from a from a yard. After scoring long run, run the ball that entire series, went to throw and that ball was intercepted. In hindsight, you wish you saved the run. In hindsight, I wish we wouldn't have. You know, they wouldn't have intercepted the ball. I mean, I, you guys make a living out of second guessing. We don't. You know, 
guys ought to live that life. It's a, it's a lot more interesting life. It's unfortunate. You know what I mean? You call some runs, you call some passes. But to stand here and say, well, if we wouldn't have or if we only could have, like, we went with the call. Unfortunately, it was intercepted. Um, you know, and it's a, it just uh, – we just can't we can't live like that. We can't coach like that. You can't play the game like that. You have to get the call, go out, get the check. If the quarterback makes a check, and go play. Did you telegraph it a little, or did the guy just make a great play? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I'll have to take a look at the film and and try to help you out. How did Derek do today versus what I you? I think he came out okay. I meant there were some, you know, probably some runs he'd like to have back, and a lot of. You know, blocking that could be better, but you know we did get into a flow. I thought of running the football, and then they loaded up, uh, and they did a good job. They, you know, they had some some guys that were in there grinding away on the run, and you know we know how hard it is to run against you know some of those D linemen that they have. Mike, how, how disappointing is is this loss considering kind of the resiliency that that you guys showed all year, the the toughness. We know the injured players and, and, and all that just to... I mean, anytime you lose, Ben, it's going to be disappointing. Um, I love the way they fight. I, I, I embrace the way that they compete uh, and find a way to, to get us in ball games. Just tonight, we were on the, the wrong side of a, of a tight game. Will you have the final team meeting tomorrow and how difficult? No, I don't think that we should rush in there tomorrow. And if anybody wants to leave, they're more than welcome to leave. Um, but we're going to meet on Monday.